In this video, I'm showing you how to connect two monitors to one laptop. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end, so the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. So here we are at my desk setup. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we need to go and figure out what ports our monitors have and our laptops have. And once we know that, we can then go and work out what cables we're going to need and what adapters we're going to need. As it doesn't actually matter if our laptops and monitors have different inputs and outputs, simply because we can go and get a cheap adapter and allow them to go and work together. So the first thing we want to do is go and check this out. Here we are on the back of one of my monitors. And as you can see, the only input we have is the VGA and the power cable. So therefore, we're going to need to make sure we've got a VGA on one of our cables. And one of the things to note is, is my laptop doesn't have a VGA. So that means we're going to have to go and get an adapter. So we now know this monitor here has a VGA input. And we now know this monitor has an HDMI input and a DisplayPort input. So now let's go and take a look at our laptop to go and see what ports we have on here. So as you can see here, I've got a USB and an HDMI port. And then on the other side, I've got Thunderbolt outputs as well and another USB. This is because it's one of the older MacBooks, but don't worry, this guide works for all types of laptops, including Windows and new MacBooks as well. And um, it's all just going to be different adapters. I've gone and put some links to adapters and cables in the description of this video, so feel free to go and check them out. The adapter I'm personally using for my laptop is a Thunderbolt cable just here. So this does the output of a VGA and it goes into my laptop as a Thunderbolt port just because I've got one of the old MacBooks. But probably if you've got one of the new laptops, you're going to want a USB-C adapter or you're going to want a USB or an HDMI adapter. So now I'm going to go and wire this all up and something you may need as well is a mouse and keyboard simply because you may not be able to use your laptop, um, but you may be able to do it anyway. But now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once it's all wired up and then after I've shown you what it's looked like, I'm going to go and show you the full settings you're going to need to go and set on your laptop in Windows and Mac. I just want to quickly add in here, you literally just plug the monitors into your laptop and it's going to start displaying on your monitors. Just a quick note though, I'll show you the key settings you need to change in just a moment. And here we are, everything is now wired up and as you can see, we're making use of all three monitors. We've got Google here, then we've got Outlook, and then we've just got our desktop. And like I said before, I am doing this with a Mac, but this guide works with all types of laptops, and that's literally it. So now I want to go and show you the key settings you're going to need. For Mac, honestly, it's literally plug and play, but for Windows, there are some things we're going to need to tinker with, and I'll show you that now. So here we are inside of Windows. So all you want to do is go and right click, and you want to go and click on display settings just here. So once you click here, you're going to go and get this pop up here. Then you want to go and select one of your monitors. So at the minute, I've only got two. I did actually go in and plug my other one. So up here, we can go and rearrange your display. So depending on where your laptop is, my laptop is number one. And at the minute, it's next to my monitor. But for example, if it was below my monitor, I could go and drag it like this. And this means when you go and move um, files and windows up, that's how it's going to go and move up from the bottom. But I'm going to keep mine just here for now. Then all you want to do is go and scroll down and the really important one is multiple displays and you can go and choose um, what your displays are like. So for example, extending means you can go and have different windows, but you could have duplicate. So that means exactly the same is on each monitor. Personally, extend for me is the most useful one as I can go and have different windows on different screens. And if you come a bit higher up, we've also got display resolution and I recommend maxing these out. So this is 1080p and then for my main monitor, this is 2560. So there we go. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.